to move. That's enough for me for today. Most of you probably know that we flatten and sand a lot of stuff around here. And I've wanted a wide belt sander for no less than five years, and it's finally time! She's here! Do you know how heavy it is? I don't know. No. Nah. 7,000 pounds. Okay, that's a big one. Oh, I tried it with the fork, so I dragged it with Ninja Turtle, and it just picked me up. I don't think this is going to get it out. No. no. Gross weight, 2,300 kilograms. Kill you saw some help here? Oh. Um, I'll take some of all. Oh. Yeah. We have a uh, forks for the podcast? Yeah. Is it in? It's good for now. We need to check them. A lot bigger than ours. We are making room for our big machine. We built this like really cool pallet rack. We even did a video on it now. We're taking out half of it, so go us. All right, Gina, I'm gonna start walking, like leaning it that way. Loop. Okay. I bet your back is killing you tomorrow. Work smart, not hard. Where are you putting that there, killer? Pick up the chains. Nope, nope. See, everything you're doing is wrong. Everything you're doing is still wrong. I'll pick this up with the forks because of the way they fit, then I'll put it over here, and then you gotta move that table. It was funny, when we first got here, all any of us wanted to do was drive the forklift because the building was empty. Now no one knows how to drive the forklifts. There she is, staring me in the face. She called me a bitch. This, this big ass machine. She said, you're a little bitch, and your little bitch Ninja Turtle can't pick me up. About to show her. I done broke something. Oh, the squirreliest. It's the most expensive thing I've ever bought. Oh no, it's not. That sawmill was more. But we just have a super terrible game plan for it, which is great. I think the forklift's gonna freaking die. What could go wrong? Aren't those supposed to be like evenly down? Yeah, what'd you do? Uh, bring them down, fully. No, the, the locks! Get out of the f***ing truck! I didn't know you didn't know how to do this. I mean, just hope we didn't f*** it up. Super f***ing frustrating. Sure did run into the wall. Um, I think it's gonna go about here. About to be the squirreliest of all time. At least the squirreliest pickup. So before we strap anything up, we can pick it up from the bottom according to the user manual. It only weighs 6,000 pounds. Let's go! We only need it up to one inch. Does everyone put on an eyewear before I pick it up? Just in case a chain snaps or something shoots out or diabetes. Diabetes. Any of those things. So pull the slack from this, your left hand, Jordan. Stop, you know, see what I'm saying? Let the rest of that slack be in the middle. Careful, if it starts to go, I'm not gonna go fast. This is where she's gonna live. It's sliding to the left. Gino and Lou, it, it wants to slide to you two. Move, Lou, move. The chain's sliding. Is everyone good? That was terrifying. Who do you think's buying you new hands? Yeah. I guess we gotta be happy with where it's at. That's enough for me for today. Thought it was the end. Thought I was gonna lose three dudes. Oh, fuck you. Now all we gotta do is get a bunch of power to it, run a bunch of duct work to it, and fix our damn air compressor. Just take my wallet. The next morning. Ah! We got a giant dust collection. Jordan is so excited. Golden. Our current dust collector will not be able to handle all the dust. So we upgraded. Go to Penida again. They sent us over a bunch of new piping. What we did, the seven inch run, we're upgrading that 10 inches now. Impressive, very nice. Last year, about around this time, actually, we upgraded our dust collection with the Oneida. We'll take those back there and lay them out. Nice. Oh, perfect. Look at this plastic. Oh my Holy God. Shit. It's like a bagel cutter. Bam. Bam. Well, a couple issues. One, that's three phase. I don't think we have three phase power over there and I'm not an electrician. Two, I think we're short a piece. Three, the new one has to be up like 30 more inches. We got to fabric cobble some stuff and John's sick and I don't really want to do it without him. I figured we have all these empty boxes in the big warehouse, so why not play a little game of Nerf? Oh. <laughs> Shit! old girl down and held her on in here over a year what if it was at the old shop Dude, this bad girl got a lot of miles on her hopefully she doesn't try and kill me oh. Oh. Oh, she had me. ready you guys got it two one look at the size difference the top section of the new one is almost as big as the entire old one that's the dust gorilla that's harambe so next what we're gonna do 
this frame out. A miniature wall right here. Put two by six down, two by six up, and then stud it. And then we gotta add another piece of plywood because the new dust collector is gonna mount right up here. It's gonna be interesting. It's time to pick up the big expensive thing. Good. This goes on top of that. You're gonna pick it up and we're gonna gauge it. I'm hopeful. Stop, driver, and probably gonna have to put it on and then I'll get up and spin it. You're gonna drive your right fork into the wall, so you're gonna have to come in. Great news, jackass in the back. What the f it misses so many holes. I guess this is a multi bracket, it's not sitting flat for some reason. It sucks, but we're gonna have to bring the picker in. Well, that went swimmingly. Average work, guys. So, we got the beast wired up and everything. Got that rod. Waiting on some more piping to come in. Now we gotta hang the filter thingy bobber. I don't really know what to call it, but it puts three big old filters on. This is gonna go up real high. We're gonna put some steel cable up there, help support this thing. It's got some nice mounting points there. This will actually give us a lot more storage. With the old one, we really couldn't put anything under there. It's gonna be so high up, like, we're gonna free up that space. It's gonna suck if ever has to change these. I'm not gonna do it. You can consider this my retirement. Also, it's Monday, we lose a little grouchy, so we gotta try and cheer him up. All right, let's get it. It looks pretty close, huh? Does that look like it's I'm gonna hold it? Like how we did the other ones. Like, do we need to put a board here? Does that work for you? I'll, I'll, I'll guess, <laughs> we'll find out. It's one of our fans, who's in the area. Hey, dude. They, got, they were telling me last week, they're calling, they just go in the bracket and they hang off the side. I was like, there's no chance. Well, two washers and two nuts. Oh, Most oh, of you are doing four. Yeah. Hours. Just so you know, everything you're doing would be easier under tension. Before you start leveling and micro tweaking it? Yeah, I know. You put the whole thing under tension. Well, I, I can't reach the other bolts as we're having to go down. I just clean these up for safety. Safety is a priority now. <laughs> Some would say you are uh, above the bullshit. So I put all of my trust in Jordan and the boys to hang these things up and make sure that they were secure. And from the looks of it, still standing. It's up to them now to bring it home. You got it, Gina. Look that shitty. They are so high in the air. It's like it looks like a portal. Yeah, Step in. Yeah, like, like you're at the bank and it Whoa! sucks good. All right, now all we gotta do is figure out how to use the sander. We're a bunch of idiots, so we didn't order enough piping. So we took a few pieces from other parts on the section in order to get it run to the machine. Hook this sucker up, fire it up, and we now have maximum suction. Okay, Yens. Finally, after months. She is ready to run. Let me show you some of the stuff we got going on here first. So what we've got on the inside is two belts. So we're gonna be running a more aggressive belt here, like 80, 100, 120, 150. This side has a platen in the bottom, which will allow for some more flattening if need be. Super stoked. It's got dual heads, dust collection at each head. It's got this robot looking panel on it, which is awesome. It costs a ton of money and should save us a ton of time. Let's give this thing a run. That's the sound we're looking for. So I know it's loud, but we got this slab here. We're gonna run it through on 80 grit, and then we'll finish it with 120 grit. See how many passes and how much time we save. Now that it's at 80, we'll kiss it with 100, and then we'll be ready to finish sanding it. So this is technically our first slab through the machine. I'm super pumped. We got to 100 grit on both sides. Probably only took us, what, 15 minutes to get it to there. This thing is gonna save us a ton of time. Hopefully make me uh, enough money to at least afford it. Big shout out to Oneida for helping with the upgrade on the dust collection system. Um, I'm loving the ironwood right now. If you guys wanna see any more of these tools, I got them linked down below, check them out. And if you wanna see me build more ridiculous shit, I got a whole playlist for you right here.